Okay, I've got a simple circuit here. 1K resistor, a diode, and the 1K resistor, and this is just a 1N914 or 4148, just some type of diode. So obviously the diode is on because we have five volts going through it, so it's conducting. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple things. I'm gonna add a, uh, an input and an output, but an AC path. So this will be a DC path, and this will be an AC path. So we're gonna go ahead and put one megahertz on the input, and we're gonna look at the output, okay? So I have a scope probe hooked up, I have the little circuit, oops, sorry. Uh, I have the little circuit here. And uh, there we go. We have uh, a yellow trace and a blue trace. And the yellow trace is the input and the blue trace is the output. So they're, they're exactly the same. So what does that mean? Um, well, that means that we're conducting. Uh, usually you can't go backwards through the diode, but because we have it turned on, it's now conducting. And so there's a conduction path and AC can pass through here. Now let's remove uh, the five volts and, uh, and see what happens. So I'm gonna remove the five volts right now. And you can see that the input's still there, but the, uh, the output is now, it's, it's greatly reduced. It's not exactly zero, there's still a little bit leaking through. And we'll talk about that. But here's uh, the five volts on, five volts off. Five volts on, five volts off. So we've created a switch. And so uh, you'll see this usually with fancier diodes, okay? Instead of a, uh, a 1N4148, uh, you'll use what's called a PIN diode, uh, PIN diode. And that stands for, uh, this is the uh, uh, positive um, semiconductor and this is the negative semiconductor, so a PN junction. And then there's a junction in the middle, so this is actually a, a three-layer diode. There's a P layer, an N layer, and then an I layer, which is an intrinsic layer. Intrinsic. Uh, which means it's not doped at all. This is positively doped, negatively doped, and this is not doped at all. And that creates a little buffer in here. And so it helps the diode turn off all the way instead of always having a little bit of leakage. It helps it turn off all the way. And you'll see the circuit used quite a bit in RF uh, 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 equipment. Um, uh, but you can play with it uh, just with a, a normal, a normal uh, diode that you just might have on hand. Hook up this little circuit and uh, have some fun with it. Um, and then if you see the circuit in uh, a test equipment or radios or anything that needs switching on and off, uh, You'll, you'll find circuits like this all the time. And they actually are one of the things that is a little bit of a weak link. They, they, they do die. Um, and so if, if things aren't making it through, uh, check the DC bias, make sure there is you know, the DC voltage uh, here. But a lot of times these pin diodes are a bit flaky and they will die. And uh, it may just be that you need to put in a new diode to uh, fix your equipment. Anyway, uh, diode switching. And uh, hopefully you learned something.